Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to go over how I make my templates for projects that I make basically duplicates of. So what I typically use is quarter inch hardboard. Now if you're going to make multiple projects what I like to do is just make a template out of like onto that quarter inch hardboard and that way you can just either for these types here these fish I can just trace it out and then I'll be able to cut it for this one here um, I will be using a pattern bit so I can rough cut the plywood the, the final piece double side that on there with some tape and then I can use a pattern bit like I just mentioned to get it perfect every single time now I've got a project that I'm going to be making some yard games um, so I need to make a bunch of these templates and I'm going to be producing a few of them so we'll go over that how I, I trace it onto the board and basically start to finish for making these templates now this is the type of bit you're going to want to purchase it is called a pattern bit um, the one I have here is a half inch pattern bit. Some people probably call it different, but I call it that. Basically what it is, it's got a bearing on top and then the blades are obviously below the bearing. You can get different style, which is the bearings on the bottom, but I prefer having the bearing on the top because you can actually see where um, you're gonna be hitting that uh, template with the bearing. As you saw in the video when I was using this, I had quite a quite a bit of um, wood still left. So what I usually do is I take a pass, a light pass, just to kind of get closer to the template. I don't want to take all the bulk of that at, in one go because um, it is a little rough on the actual bit itself. So I try to take the layers off. Now if you're using paper templates, I like to lay it out ahead of time, just so you know you have enough material on that sheet. And then we can use spray adhesive to adhere these templates down. Now we can go ahead and rough cut these out. I just use a jigsaw at this stage, and then I will bring it over to my scroll saw or you can use a bandsaw to cut that out. Now this one we want to get it perfect because this is going to be our template so we want to make sure we cut right to that line and then after we'll sand it down so it's perfect. Once we get this onto the plywood it's not as critical so we can just rough cut that. So I just wanted to make that clear that we want to get this perfect. So once we have our templates cut out and sanded down, we can now trace it on to whatever we're going to cut it out on. So in my case, I'm going to be using some plywood. So we can go ahead and trace that out. And as I mentioned earlier, we want to trace out about an eighth inch around the actual template itself um, because we're just going to rough cut this out and then we'll bring it over to the router and get it to its final template with the router bit.
So I like to just hold the pencil kind of off the edge. Don't go tight to the template. Kind of like that. We can now put it on to the plywood piece itself. Now what I usually use is double sided tape. Now, if you're using a plywood with veneer on it, I would suggest putting the good side down because when you peel this double side tape off, it might rip the actual thin veneer off. And there you have it. Just a quick video showing how I make my templates for projects I'm making bulk of. Now if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will answer that. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm putting out some good content and you guys are enjoying this kind of stuff. And as I always say, thanks for watching.